as a man you are supposed to take the lead is the woman who came out of the rib not the man this is somebody i've never been in touch with but i want to pursue okay so i need to come to a common ground okay to a common ground uh it's like i'm coming at this table i want to know you so even as a man we need to come to a place whereby you know what you want everyone how are you doing i hope you're keeping very well very fine and in this season definitely you know when you open your television and especially on youtube on tuesday at 9 45 pm we are definitely discussing relationships karibu sana on the show today my name is martha and i am your host and i am joined by an amazing guest my friend, I'm already ready for many things today, and I hope you are too. So, Karibu Sana, you can introduce yourself. Thank you so much. My name is uh, Pastor Dan Achero from uh, City of Transformation, Kitengela. I'm married to one female wife and blessed with three children. Wow. Yes. So, Pasi, tell us, what do you do for... I want to know you more apart mm. from Pasi. <laughs> I think, um, for me, I just do pastoring. I do ministry, I do trainings, mm -hmm. worship teams, all those. Wow. Yes. Sauti in India, ku India. Anyway, fine. Mm. So today we are going to be discussing something very important. Mm. Of course, starting with the head. We want to really hit the head, the nail on the head, mm. which is man. You know, mm -hmm. men nowadays are really slowing down and mm. especially when it comes to their sole responsibility mm. that is in pursuit many women have actually taken the whole because they feel like men are reluctant men are slow mm. men are probably getting very very not comfortable doing it or lack of confidence so we want to get to be able to understand what are some of the things these men need to do in the area of pursuit because sometimes um they're losing it and uh, you might find a lady is interested in you but you do it wrongly and it ends up being an unemployed situation mm. so take it over um thank you so much um i think in this generation uh, we need to understand a few things because also things are changing um we're getting into a place whereby now the woman is empowered okay the woman is empowered and uh, as a man, not during those ages, you know, stone ages, those times. Uh, during our times, now uh, the women are empowered and they know what they want. So even as a man, we need to come to a place whereby you know what you want. And the first thing that you need to work on is your heart. Okay, is your heart because you don't want to take something into this relationship that will sabotage it. Okay, that will sabotage it. And that's why it's important for you as a man to check yourself, you know, if I have anger. Because sometimes relationships break because of anger. And it's the first day we have met. But because I am late, five minutes, you're already shouting. Okay? So that kind of can put somebody off. Okay? So, and that's why it's important for us to check our hearts. Check your heart. Uh, I am coming into this new thing. This is somebody I've never met, but I want to pursue. Okay? This is somebody I've never been in touch with, but I want to pursue. Okay? So, I need to come to a common ground. Okay? To a common ground. Uh, it's like, I'm coming at this table, I want to know you. I am coming at this table, uh, I might not have a clue, but I want to learn. Okay? But you see, most people come at the table with information okay information so they want the lady to endorse what they have mm. so they end up missing it so you come with certain expectation mm. then the lady is not what you think they are because the lady is bringing something different but if you just took time to learn if you just took time to understand mm. then there are things you'll know because it is a process this thing is a journey. When I talk about relationship, it's a journey. And, and if you are not, if you don't have patience in the journey, because there are different kinds of hotels. There's a hotel you will enter, even before you sit down, whatever you've ordered for comes. There's a hotel you will have to book, and it will take time. 
But by the time it comes, you enjoy the meal. So which one do you want? Mm. <laughs> so I, okay. Check your heart. I yes. think, um, <laughs> on what matters and what aspect do you think um, a man should be at in terms of the heart matters to be able to be um, good in pursuing and to do it well when they get to that stage? Um, you cannot really do something well, okay? Because like I said, it's a process, it's a process. And because if, if you knew how to do it, you could have already done it before, okay? So it's a process, it's a time of learning, you're learning, you're learning this person, you're studying this person, okay? You're checking your heart, because that's why I'm talking about patience, okay? There's that time of being patient with this person, okay? Uh, I might have seen this person, I'm in love with this person, but I really don't know how this person has been created. Okay, so I am this person who is who has anger. So I need to come to a place whereby this anger has to come down. Okay, I check my heart. I have this certain issue, but I'm entering into this relationship because a relationship is about two people, not one person. Okay, so I might be having these things in my heart. But you see, I need to come to a place whereby I level it out with this other person. Because this other person is coming also with issues in their heart. I am coming with issues in my heart. What is the common ground? Mm. So as a man, I need to come to a place whereby my focus is on the common ground. I don't want to impose my will, okay? Mm. I want to learn. I want us to grow. I want us to take, uh, to, to take this journey together. It is step by step, mm. yes. So uh, I feel you're really trying to bring out the fact that you should be ready to accommodate, have an open heart, yes, say, where yes. you, you're really um, um, having the balance of I am me and I'm still involving somebody else. Mm. And I need us to come to a common ground yes. where we can now operate. Yes. Yeah, because there's somebody who says when it comes to relationships, you, you, you don't come with who I am, you mm. come with who you should be for the relationship to work. Yeah, because you need to have space to accommodate yes. somebody. And adjust yes. the better of relationships. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. And of course, you know, for men, adjusting and <laughs> it's, it's very easy. difficult. It's you know, for women, adapting is easy because we are generally human beings yes. who um, are, are, are very, very open to adaptation mm. in tough situations. Yes. But for a man, I mean, for money, it takes time. How do they do that? I mean, how have you done it? Because uh, you're married. How have you been <laughs> able to accommodate? The fact that, especially the differences, mm. you know, how, and you know, that's how relationships are breaking. Mm. If you're trying to pursue someone yes. and you see so many differences, mm. especially not in terms of the human person, mm. but in terms of, now this is a woman, she's emotional. I mean, me, I'm not emotional. Mm -hmm. As a man, I am a factual being. <laughs> you know, yeah. this woman is lengthy in terms of words. Mm. Here's a man, I want you to go straight to the point. Yes. I mean, can you talk about the education track? Um... People are created differently, and uh, uh, diversity, you know, is, is good. You know, if if all of us were black, man, it could be something else. If all of us were brown, it could be something else. You know, if all of us had that thing of anger, mm -hmm. the world would be something else. Mm -hmm. But people have been created. There are people who have uh, thirty thousand words to speak in a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are people who have only two thousand words to speak in a day. Yeah. Okay, and you know those people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But um, uh, you come to a place whereby, because I want to know you, okay? Now, for example, let me, let me just give uh, myself as an example. Uh, when I got married, you see, you get married and you know the woman is supposed to do one, two, three, four, five, six. You are the man. Mm -hmm. The woman is supposed, when you get married, when you wake up that following week, you are supposed to find breakfast in the table because it's the culture. That's what you've been taught. Okay. As a woman, he's supposed to make sure that there's breakfast when you wake up. You know, there's water. If you don't have a shower, there's water. You know, there, there's this. Everything. Everything is just so because you are the king. Mm. Yeah. And that thing of being a king is what has spoiled many men. Mm, okay. True. And they, they, they use the name with love being found. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and you see, this is a relationship. Two people. Not competing. Complimenting. Okay, so come to a place where by now I realize, ah, my wife is not that person of waking up early. But me, for me, I, 
I don't sleep a lot. Mm. I can even wake up at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. So now I wake up at that time. Do I expect breakfast on the table? <laughs> now, if I don't get breakfast, mm -hmm. the first week it was very hard. Second week, third week, first month, it was very hard because I don't understand. Mm -hmm. If I wake up, you're supposed to be awake mm -hmm. to make sure that I'm comfortable. But then I came to realize that we have been created differently. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to adjust. If I wake up, I'm the only person who is awake, for goodness sake. I just go to the kitchen, make myself a cup of tea, and I'm okay. Mm -hmm. then I, alone. Yes. Ooh, ooh. And then I wait for my wife to wake up. And then you leave Then, yeah. Oh, right. Simple. <laughs> you see, with that, mm -hmm. you live happily thereafter. True. Happily there. Because now I understand. I'm not, as a man, I don't want to be a dictator. Mm -hmm. I want to be a husband. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be somebody who is commanding. Okay, because we are in this thing together. It's a process. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Because if, if, if I'm too commanding, what if she gets an opportunity? What will happen? Mm -hmm. Because the seeds you sow, you reap. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. now you'll start washing utensils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a man, <laughs> washing clothes. Because that's what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. But we are in this marriage to help help one another mm -hmm. because you washing utensils does not make you less a man mm -hmm. we complement mm -hmm. so i have to come to a place whereby i want to understand you mm -hmm. you understand me mm -hmm. we work together mm -hmm. in this journey yeah. i agree because um you wonder how a man would step his foot down and say i'm the man a woman even comes later than the man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you will wait for her to come and do everything. Imagine. And both of you are experiencing the same kind of pressure outside there. It's it's tragic and it's yeah. not the servant leadership mm. that Jesus actually experienced. Yes. And if people were to follow the example of Jesus, then I believe they would do what you say. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Mm. So I want you to just um say let's talk about confidence mm. in a short while. Mm. Um before we go for a break. Mm. So you talk about the the, the, the the role confidence plays that a man pursues, and how do they express confidence? Ah, confidence, confidence, confidence is important as a man. And sometimes we have this statement. I'm a pastor, and we've had this statement, you know, in churches. Mm -hmm. Ladies say, uh, the men in this church, they are not confident. Mm -hmm. I, I usually feel very bad. Mm -hmm. You know, and the way you talk to these men and the way they are responding, you feel like, man, like what happens you when you yeah. go to this lady? What happens? happens so much in church, you know? What happens? Yeah. And um, as a man, you have to be confident because you don't expect, I don't, for me, I don't expect a woman to come and propose. Mm. I don't expect. Mm. Even if I see, I say, Ay, there's something wrong somewhere. Yeah. Because as a man, you're supposed to take the lead. It's the woman who came out of the rib, yeah. not the man, mm -hmm. not the other way around. So the man was supposed to take charge. Okay, you've been put at that place of taking charge, all right? So you, you, you need to have confidence to speak out. What is in your heart, there has to be an expression, okay? You don't chicken out, you have to speak it. And I tell men, uh, if somebody says no, those are just two words, yeah. N-O, and you move on. Yeah? It will not kill you. Yeah. The best thing is that I have spoken what is in my heart, yeah. and I've said it. And sometimes I tell men, you don't have to go for coffee date, even after service. Yeah, I just say, uh, I was thinking about one, two, three. What do you think? Okay, sometimes I just make fun of it. It's better you say no there than me spending 1,000 in the hotel and then you say no. <laughs> okay, just the other side of it, yeah, yeah, you know. True. But it's important for you to you have... You can go for a yes date. Yes, you can go for a yes date, okay? Okay. But also, I usually turn it around to the woman. Mm -hmm. Have the wisdom of saying no. Mm -hmm. Okay? Have the wisdom of saying no. Because sometimes it is the response that kills the man. Because mm -hmm. this man has come with such confidence and wants to say something mm -hmm. and he has prepared everything. You know, it has been a plan for the last three months. Mm -hmm. This guy has been planning. Okay? planning everything is like it's a surprise and then you just appear and you say no <laughs> of course enjoy the food first yeah. you know have that wisdom of saying no because 
also there are some responses that crush the man. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, because you can be talking about confidence. They have confidence, but maybe they have gone through certain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it it has really crushed them yeah. to a point where by now even that confidence they don't have it. But as a man, you need to have confidence. Yeah. I'm talking to men, have confidence. Mm -hmm. If you love somebody, speak to that person. Mm -hmm. Say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say, I love you. Mm -hmm. well, for me, when I met my, my, my wife, I told her, uh, I love you. Mm -hmm. And I am believing God that in the next one year, mm -hmm. we'll get married. That is the first day. The first day, that is, you're not even yet friends. Or you knew each other. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's the first day. Because, this is what I say, you need to have focus. You need to have focus because I'm, no, I'm not just here to, to become your friend. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the future. I am taking a hundred years coming down. Not now to a hundred years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in my mind, this thing has to work. Mm -hmm. So I have such confidence mm -hmm. that this, this thing, and you are the right person. Okay, I love you, but I'm giving you one week or two weeks. Mm -hmm. Think about it, then tell me. I do wish men know how it electrifies a woman. But before we go, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to take a very, very short break. Mm -hmm. And we shall be right back. Stick right there. Failing to monitor is one of the reasons that slows down the financial momentum. Know what you want. If it was a business that got challenged and you did not face that challenge and try to overcome that challenge, your financial momentum get derailed. It's good to learn the art of reinventing the wheel. If it doesn't work this way, it can work another way. Welcome back and we are doing it again. Of course, decoding relationships. And today we are decoding the pursuit of a man. I mean, this is a very critical issue. And you are talking about confidence, which is very important. And as a woman, I will tell you for sure, like we had just said it before, there is an electrifying nature of the confidence of a man that comes with how you just present yourself. I mean, when you're not sure, even me, myself, or even if I was attracted to you, I begin to get one, you know, to get yeah. worried. Mm -hmm. Am I really? And you know, women, we need leadership. We don't just want it. Mm. We actually need it. Yes. We are craving from the inside. Yes. So when we see a man is not confident enough to do it, we become, you know, very worried and we begin to, you know, drift away from them. Mm. So confidence is very important. I totally agree mm. with what you are saying. Mm. And again, I'm not saying you come with all the words and mm. boom, them, because again, we need time to process. Yes. I mean, just come in a friendly way, but very confident. Mm mention what you you want yeah but um some men say you know women have killed their confidence over time mm. and yeah we, we might have but again it's up to you to be responsible mm. take up yourself because you need to keep moving yes and to do it right so i want us to talk about one factor that men do very wrong in this in the in the space of passage mm. the leading on factor you have led a woman on without saying something. Mm -hmm. You know, I am meeting with you on dates. I am always texting you. I am always calling you. Mm -hmm. And you know, for a woman, she will interpret it as this guy is actually attracted to me. Yes. You can't be giving me all that. And you know, for women, attention communicates. Mm -hmm. Give me attention and I know you are really into me. Yes. So that leading on fact. How can you balance between the fact that I want to pursue this woman and I am not yet sure about mm -hmm. it. But again, you know, I'm wasting the time with this woman. I can't mm. be calling her out on dates to secure her mm. and I'm still trying to figure out yeah. what I'm supposed to be doing. So maybe you can talk about that. Okay. Um, and that, that really happens even in churches, you know. Get this brother meets mm. this good sister, mm. sends scriptures, encouragement, <laughs> on a daily, basis. daily basis, you know, yeah. after church. They have to, he has to at least take the sister to the stage, mm -hmm. make sure, you know, she's very safe, you know. Um, if something has happened to the family, the brother is there, mm -hmm. you know. So, 
the sister starts feeling something. Yes. But the brother is at the point of sister in the Lord. Yes. Okay? So, and also this can hurt, you know, the sister. Because the sister is expecting something. But the brother is not speaking. Okay? The brother is at that point. They, go, they are going for an outreach. Then the brother says, I want us to pray. Mm. Then he starts reading scriptures. <laughs> at Jivanji the whole day. Okay? And holding hands, praying. So, I started, I thought we came for an outing. So, mixed feelings. So, as, 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 as a man, as a man, it's important for you to know that uh, whatever you do, it might get the lady's attention. Mm -hmm. And you need to be very careful. You need to be very careful. And that's why for me, it's important from the word go. It is very, very important. If you are into this person, say it. Please don't stop sending SMSs and scriptures and encouragement and quotes and what, all those things, and taking lunch and taking flowers and being their prayer partner, what? No. From the word, go. Just go. That's why we're talking about confidence. Sister so-and-so, I am feeling something for you. Okay? I'm giving you time. If you need time to think about it, take some time. Just think about it. And then let me know. Okay, instead of me being there, being there, but I'm not there. Okay, I'm there, you know, after church, I've taken you for lunch, you know. Then that Sunday, the sister is expecting something because you booked her two weeks before. Say, this particular Sunday, I want us to go to Kempiski for lunch. Eesh, the sister is excited today. So the sister dresses up knowing there is something <laughs> only to find it's just dinner. And then God bless you. So the sister is hurt. It's, it's hurt. So as a man, lay out the words. What do you want with this person? Are you serious with this person? Okay. Now from there, uh, what are you thinking about your future? Say, so I'm thinking that in the next two years, three years, you know, we can get together and yeah, start life together. That's my thinking. So when I'm, I'm approaching you, you already know what I want. I'm not just coming as a friend who will hang out with you. Oh, you're free. Let's go to the supermarket. We are going to the... You're free. Let's go to where? No, 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 no. no. Let's go to Naivash. No, I'm not just free. Okay. And then also, as a man, you need to know, study that lady. Study that lady because there are ladies who have gone through such. Okay. There's a man who was there, 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 and then that particular day, the man disappears. They ghost. Yeah. They just start acting yeah. distant. Yeah. And you're there, even now, worse, you're in the same department in church, mm. serving. Okay? Then the man just decides to move away, you know, just starts different stories, you know, mm. all those. So it hurts the lady to a point whereby even the lady cannot serve. Yeah. Okay? Cannot serve. And you cannot blame her because also there are people who hurt, there are people who have shock absorbers, you know, which are like for vits. Okay. Yeah, very, yeah. <laughs> and of course, many women don't have so many high levels of absorbing shock. Yeah. Okay. So it's important for you as a man. Let me lay down my vision. Yeah. Let me lay down. Because if you, are, if you are a man and you are serious about this thing, okay, you are seeing the future. You're not seeing now. You're seeing the future. You're seeing the future of two, the two of you going this certain direction. Okay? So if I'm approaching you now, I am telling you this is the future. This is what I'm seeing. Okay? You want me to give you one month? I'm giving you one month. Why? Because as for me, I'm serious. I'm serious. Now, after one month, if you come and tell me, Sano, I move on. I move on. You know? So it's, it's important for you as a man to know what you want. Who you want, mm -hmm. okay? And you cannot be going everywhere. You know, you take this lady out, you take this other lady out. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have twelve disciples around you. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. And among the twelve, there is the seventy-two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. like you're out in your church. Mm. Outside it's circumference. Not, it's not right. Mm, it's not then, right. Mm. Um, if you really, really love God, considering how you will put uh, the other person, what you will put the other person through, is mm. very important. Mm. 
it's not just a selfish ambition kind of pursuit because yes. again you know for the woman it might deeply hurt her because she was already connected to you yes and you don't need to do all that mm. to to know a woman you yeah. just need to be friends yes. so serving with her mm. is the best way to know you yes don't take her out all the yes. time no i mean on a normal occasion when we are just out as the youth you can see how she behaves mm. You just have to you know it yeah. even before you talk to her in person yeah. that this person is actually Christ-like, and I can now move to the next level. Mm-hmm. Really getting her to be a friend. Yeah. And I can know. So there's, there's, um, you've just reminded me. There's, uh, uh, there's a couple. They got married, but the guy was giving us a story. We had a Valentine's dinner, mm-hmm. and the guy asked for, I think, a fork or something, mm-hmm. to a certain lady who was serving, and. The lady went and brought the fork. The, the presentation itself mm. made the man to like the lady. And now they are married. Whoa. You just said the presentation of that fork, mm-hmm. bringing the fork to the table, just the presentation. Mm. The, lady, the man said, ah, this, is the, this is the lady. I know. <laughs> when you, like, like you've just said, mm. it, if you know what you want, yes. you don't need to go all that You don't need to. You know exactly this is my liking. Yeah. This is where my heart beats when, yes. I, when, yes. when I see this. Yes. So definitely when that person appears, you know this is what I want. Yes. So you go for it and you write your it. vision. Yeah. And it's very, very yes. important. I want to mention one thing that you've said mm. and I want to pull it out from um something. Mm. You mentioned you would not want a woman to approach you with a man. Mm. Um what what <laughs> In a circumstance where a man has actually been approached by a woman, a woman has decided to do the man job. Mm. I mean, um, from your experience mm. and uh, from how, from where you sit, especially as a as a man of God, mm. how should a man approach this? And probably when the man looks at the woman, maybe she is fit, and I'm attracted to them, and they pursued me. Should they actually? Uh, now pursue it to the next level or what how do you handle such a situation because i mean um mm. we might not necessarily say it's just a sin mm. you know but um how do you handle it especially for a man who maybe got attracted to a woman and the woman decided to take the role very quickly mm. so how do you do it as a man? wow <laughs> the woman approaching the man yeah. it happens by the way mm. it happens um it happens in different ways because sometimes a woman can show interest in this man. Now, the way the woman behaves towards the man, okay, mm-hmm. can send signals. Can send signals, okay, because maybe the woman is feeling ah, this man has something he wants to say, but he's not saying. Mm-hmm. But I'm also feeling something. Mm-hmm. I'm also feeling something. So sometimes even the woman can wait maybe for. Maybe there's an event or something, mm. you know, in church or certain event somewhere. And then the woman decides, I'm the one who's going to be serving. Mm. You need something. I am there. Because proposing doesn't just mean the lady coming straight mm. on your face. Mm. There are things that might be done around you suggesting, okay, um, you're in trouble. The woman is there. Mm. You're in the same department. You don't have money for uniform. The woman pays for the uniform. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, there's the, that, that other side. Mm. But now we, we, let's look on this other side, the positive side of it, okay? Mm. Now, the man is not really, you know, looking at uh, taking advantage because this lady has money, mm. okay? Mm. But maybe this guy is going through certain issues and the woman sees... I can be able to help, okay, through this. Mm -hmm. Because also through that, Mm -hmm. it might make the man to be connected to the woman, Mm -hmm. okay. The woman might not speak, but now the actions around, Mm -hmm. okay, might, the action might propose to this man, okay, Mm -hmm. Uh, telling this man that, you see, there are many ladies, there are many ladies who have seen you, you are struggling, Mm -hmm. but only this particular lady has come to your aid. Okay, but as a man, the other side now, mm-hmm. as a man, it's important for you to take the lead. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. to take the lead because um, if this lady does something, that thing might get into your head, mm-hmm. okay, and you relax. 
So this lady can pay for me this. This lady can pay for me this. So I relax. I'll never take the lady out. The lady has money. The lady can pay. So you pay. I have my money, so you pay. Okay. Uh, you know, somebody said that um, blessed is the woman who, whose man is very rich. Okay. Then he said, blessed also is the woman who doesn't, who the man has allowed him not to use her own money. So you just enjoy the man's money. Okay. But now the other side, if you have a man who's, uh, the lady has money and it gets into your head, you'll be very lazy. As a man, you have been created to provide. Okay. That place of provision. Whether it is you just going out to sell even Skuma Week and get 10 shillings and bring it to the house to buy salt, you've done your work. Okay. So at that place of a lady proposing, it is very tricky. Mm. And what if they say it directly, like I have called you out on a bat mm. and I'm doing the proposal then. How do you handle that? <sighs> You know, is it, is it in Guinea? I think actually a woman could do that, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to you know, they use the Ruth example. Yes, of Bible. course. But sometimes um, some some men maybe can't see. Mm -hmm. I really, really am actually. I would want something between us. So you try to be available. So that's uh, for me. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's doable. But mm -hmm. um, now this point where a man has actually been approached directly. Mm -hmm. like, yes, I want you. You know, the direct proposal. <laughs> now, that one, I mean... Um, it will be very tricky because, number one, have you thought about it as a man? Have you thought about it? Because if this lady just approaches you, and maybe, to make it worse, you're with your friends, and then she leans down. <laughs> Will you marry me? Ooh. Boom! The ego in you, the ego in you doesn't really, you know, allow it. Mm -hmm. As a man, as a man, because um, you are supposed to, 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 to lead, you are supposed to show direction, mm -hmm. you are supposed to, you know, uh, say something that will cause the woman to follow you, okay? Not you following the woman, follow the man. Mm -hmm. So if you get a lady who does that, mm -hmm. then as a man, you should rethink some few things. Okay? Where did I go wrong? Okay? I'm not saying you break up the relationship. Okay? But you can even tell the lady, give me time. Okay? Give me time because also you want to know, where did I go wrong? Are there indications that were there and I did not see? Maybe this lady is into me. Okay? I did one, two, three things. Okay? And she was into me, but I did not know. Okay? So I need to go back to the drawing board and look at my life and check a few things. This has been the journey. What happened in between, okay? Not necessarily breaking the relationship because maybe the lady is saying you are into her, but you're not speaking. Maybe I couldn't have confidence. There's, there's some, something is missing, okay? So that's what I'm saying as a man, go back to the drawing board. Ask yourself, uh, what am I supposed to do? Because I'm a man. This is what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not doing it. The lady is doing it. Then there's something wrong somewhere. Go back to the drawing board. Look at yourself. Look at the journey. Uh, what happened along the way, you know? And then pick up yourself. Mm -hmm. Pick up yourself and take the responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, go back to the drawing board. Yes. And set the foundation straight. Yes. That is what matters. Yes. And that is so amazing. Because of time, guys, we have to finish up from there. But of course, on the comment section, we need you guys to tell us what are the challenges, where we can do another segment of this. So we can, you know, get to analyze the issues. And of course, for the women, also talk to us. Tell us, what are some of these things that men have done wrong that you would also want them to do, right? Probably they don't know. They, they don't have anyone who have told them that this is wrong and that you're doing it wrong as much as they think they're doing it right. Just talk to us. Talk to us. We need you to talk to us. Apart from that, we'll just um, have our pastor maybe just give us, in a few seconds, mm -hmm. before you or so, just talk to the men about one something, one thing, one thing you want them to know, and we can conclude from there. Okay, as a man, um, don't be in a hurry. Take your time. Know the lady. Uh, have plans. And in these plans, involve 
your lady in the plans because this is a future that you're building together okay take some time you know take some time work together because if you're talking about courtship i want to know you you want to know me be open as a man be open to the lady it is very very important don't just uh, uh, cover everything and then two years after the wedding you explode it's not good wow wow so much wisdom mm. in all its simplicity has been spoken. I love the fact that he's not using so many quotes, so many unnecessary words that many creatures would use. But very simple and relatable mm. language, which I believe you have understood. And I know from this day onwards, at least as a man, you have picked something that you can take from this place and again apply in your life. And we are praying for you guys. May you have the confidence to take up the leadership from the word go from pursuit to the relationship and to courtship and to marriage and we are wishing you all the best thank you so much Pasi, for joining us we are very honored very deeply honored and we are sure you enjoyed his presence i hope he will be here with us another time and i know we will have more to discuss otherwise we wish you well and of course a blessed evening keep it from tv every tuesday at 9 45 p.m adios